Welcome to Worship Leader Hangout. My name is Chad. Today we're going to go behind the scenes here at Southside Baptist Church and hang out with Lucas Cunningham. Um, he's the pastor, the senior pastor here, and we're going to go hang out with him and just, just take a look at um, the transformation they have made uh, from what this the, the auditorium used to be and what the church in general used to be and what it is now and all the work they put into it to make it beautiful. So let's go inside and meet Pastor Lucas. What's up, man? Hey, Chad. So good, to it's good to see you too, brother. I'm ready. You ready? Awesome. I'm ready. Come on in, guys. Welcome to Southside Baptist. Yeah. How can I help you? <laughs> okay, Absolutely. this is cool. I like this desk. Thank Did you. one of your church members make this? Yeah, uh, a guy named Robbie Lee. He owns um, Masterworks, is what it's called. But uh, this wood right here is actually like 300 years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. Uh, they did a great job on it. He did a it's lot nice. of the work in here, and so it was a blessing to have him here at our church. And Hobby Lobby made those for Hop, you? All the way from Hobby That's Lobby. Right. You would know, yeah, man. Yeah. Your crew know lot. that? You worked at Hobby Lobby? Yeah, they do. Long? Yeah, I worked at Hobby Lobby for a little bit. Now they do. If they now, don't. now they do, yeah. Let me tell you a little bit about Pastor Lucas. I know we, we just <laughs> got started and just jumped right in things, but um, he and I served together at Hastings Baptist down in St. Augustine, well, Hastings, Florida, but near St. Augustine, Florida. And um, that was actually my first church as a worship leader and mine as well as, and his as, as a pastor, senior yeah. pastor and um, so we got started together down there and uh, that's how we know each other first of all mm -hmm. um, but I went up to South Carolina he went up to Georgia not too long after yeah and uh, now we're both we in South Carolina each other there right. because your aunt or uncle yeah live near yeah there, so. actually got to hang out yeah Y'all came over house. to my aunt's house and hung out for a little while. Yeah, we did. Totally random. So, so he's he's here at Southside. So that's why we're here today, checking us, checking everything out behind the scenes. And um, and the remodel that they did was so significant that I was like, wow, we've got to we've got to show this off. So, so that's what we're doing here today. And um, and we're going to show you all around some different areas and stuff too. But most importantly, we're going to show you um, the auditorium. Uh, right through these doors and the transformation what they did there i'll put in post also what it used to look like yeah i guess let's go on in here and yeah. show us around let's do it all right so in our remodel what we did chad is of course as i mentioned we started with the foyer um foyer one foyer two whatever you want to call it but uh, then we uh we put this wall in actually there was an accordion wall that was i don't know how wide so, this is so this wall wasn't here correct yeah there was no doors here it was a about a 60 foot accordion wall that would uh you would never you would never know no you wouldn't you would other than the track that i saw out there yeah yeah, yeah there's a track up there in the ceiling but, so so you painted you did sound panels we did yeah and, we, uh, um, i like how you stacked them i know there was probably a very acoustic driven like reason sound engineer kind of reason why you stacked those um yeah absolutely uh not but, uh, <laughs> My wife liked the design. No, great. And my wife yeah, no, that's what I was fishing for. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that was great. That, no, the colors are cool. I know a lot of people just do the, the same color, like we did. Which in I wanted to do. Right. But, but my wife disagreed, and well, hey, first lady, you got it. There you, you go. Got to go. So, what board are you using? We are using the Allen Heath QU32, as it says on here. It's a digital board, which digital boards are very popular, and rightfully so, right now, because you can do so much, uh, so much with them. So now, are you great with showing us the, the lighting rig and what you use for lighting? Yeah, we have a basic Chevy. I think this ran us about $150. It's a nice board. Uh, it's not. There's nothing really too special about it. It's the, I guess, Obey 70. But it, there's some different settings that we have. We have the pre, of course, the preaching, the worship, the choir, choir only. It's very simple. We don't have to have a lot of training to do it. And um, so, yeah, we, we use some college students to run. Yeah. run this light board and works pretty well for us for what we have going on there's more we want to do but yeah um and you can always go software based in the future yeah and or hardware and software yeah and we, kind of we we plan on we're going to use this computer for that we plan on putting a mac up here and just kind of shifting this over but even then we'll keep this yeah just in case something goes haywire with yeah, the you know, software know. you can you can make a quick fix so is this like a talk back mic and talk to the band um, or something? That's a great question. I, I bet you that's what it, they do with this one. Oh, this is how they talk to the yeah, guys there on you stage. go. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, uh, no, oh, no. How do you, how do you, <laughs> sorry, I'm breaking stuff. 
That's how you change the batteries and the horn. Bass, will you turn down just a little bit? No. Yeah. Thank you. It gets a little bit weird using that on a Sunday morning, but. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Pastor Lucas, um, will you step left? Yes, thank you. Hey, Chad, one of the things that we did when we got here, uh, really about a year ago, we added the soundboard as we just saw, mm -hmm. and then um, we added um, a new speaker system and our center projector. Okay. And so what we went with, we went with three of the um, uh, Bose F1s for our main speakers. And uh, really, really, I'm a big fan of his F1s. We went with the subs as well. Um, as you see, those are not Bose subs. No. They just weren't enough to push in this large of a room. Oh, really? So we actually put those in the youth room. Oh, okay. And we brought the other ones back that we had prior. And you had them. You had them on the edge. When yeah. You were talking? Okay. Yeah, and uh, those are what we have there really, really do push. So when you came in, you got you said you widened the stage. Did it look anything like this before, or was it just? No, uh, the stage was red, like this carpet. So okay. Was on the stage. Really, the way it was set up was there was actually some stairs here. Okay. And the stage kind of came back around where the piano was at was uh, was level flooring with the with the main floor. Okay. And then down on the other end where the choir is at, all of that was on the main floor. And the choir was right there dead center. Oh, all right. This wood was donated. Uh, Hurricane Matthew came through, I think it was 2015. I wasn't here, but a man in my church, he has a large farm. He had these cut up for us and he donated them to us. We didn't do anything so, to them. So all this is from the guy's farm? Yeah. All the wood for the edge? Yeah. So you, you framed out the, the, the stage underneath? Um, we had it framed or, out. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's professionally framed, framed out. It's professionally framed out. This is a interlocking vinyl. This actually is a um, just regular wood that was stained uh, gray to match. Oh, this. so this little cap here yep. just it didn't have anything to do with this. It's just Correct. okay. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. That looks That's great. A, that looks really good. Way of an easier. Not so necessarily cheaper. It was cheaper, but it's just an easier way of doing it. It looks great. I like these stairs. Thanks, man. We had our stairs here, and we had stairs right there. So I wanted to use this just for when I get down and go on the floor when I'm preaching, make it easy and quick. I'm um, afraid I want to have someone come up. Now this is for quick access, yeah. out of service, or you going to lay somebody on the ground. Well, it's like somebody we had our, uh, yeah, we, we had our uh, old run, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. When you, um, just, when you just got to take off. Well, we had our ugly Christmas sweater Sunday, this last Sunday, mm -hmm. and it oh, was, okay. went That's very good. well. We but I had, I had two guys. I wasn't yes. planning on bringing up on stage, but they were so decked out. I'm like, I got to show these guys. Oh, off. yeah, for sure. And so I, Winners. It, it works great for like, hey, come on over. And so they come up the stairs, and yeah. it's good. Yeah. We, we did have some people thought it was ugly Christmas sweater day for us, but. <laughs> to match the Allen and Heath, we put in. Um, Man, I'm not sure if I know what this is called. Stage box. Yeah, stage box. Yeah. And what's so nice about it, instead of having your large, big old heavy snake that you have, yeah. um, you just use an ethernet. That's cord, right. That's um, so nice. 5E or Cat6, whatever. And uh, man, we needed that. Someone took a snake, the head of the snake, opened it up, and spliced it all together. It was a jumbled mess. Oh, man. Paul and I were just in awe. Of it. So they didn't just plug in, they just Because we were gonna yeah, we were gonna use the original snake and oh, we saw you. that and we're like, well, um that's out of the, that's not gonna work. They have these little guys here. They're little soft hole covers that we can pull things in and out of. Which is kinda nice. So you can the pull stage cables well, ready um, to go. Just don't push that in, it'll get lost. <laughs> crawl up underneath there. That's yeah. right. Here's a key set up. Now, does somebody play the piano? Both Every services, both yeah. service. Yeah. That's nice. Yamaha, beautiful. We had original, you know, a typical drum set in here with a shield, and it really just, there was just too much noise pollution. Yeah. So we got rid of it. It helped our mix. And here's the thing as well. We were, we actually, this last Sunday, went louder in our services. Okay. Because of, uh, we added this. And when you take that out of the equation, it really just really helped the sound. Yeah. It says sound drum sound right. module TD25. Voila. There you go. Yeah. So does your worship leader, he plays acoustic every Sunday? He does. Yeah, okay. He plays acoustic. A uh, 415L7. For those of you who want to know. Anyway, that's a Taylor. Just kidding. I didn't drop it. That was for you. 
I, we, get, we didn't get to meet, so I had to drop for Taylor. <laughs> Base player stands over here, it looks like. Right here, where the... Uh, oh, he does stand up here. Right okay, here. I just right saw his then, gear up uh, there. Yeah, the electric is right here. Squire, Fender. I, I don't know if we... I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, well, it was sitting back there, so we just kind of put it here for looks. Have they heard you play bass? Or? Yeah. Okay. Have y'all heard me play bass? The, you're talking about audience or these guys? Both. I, not really. I haven't audience, played much. You need to hear Chad. Play, <laughs> he needs to play bass on his own channel one day. Ah, uh, well, maybe. He is professional grade, which in my opinion. Choir boot, uh, choir law, uh, stand, riser, I don't even know what you call it. Yeah, these uh, choir are section. the uh, original risers. Um, risers, okay. Um, I like these chairs. Believe it or not, this carpet's died. We dyed it black. How do you do that? Um, I didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to get online. It was red as that carpet. Are you? No. Uh -uh. I'm dead serious, yeah. What? If you look We need to enough, dye the carpet right on here, our stage. Right here, see? You can kind of... You can see the oh way. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so crazy. You would never know. Which it does kind of feel hard. Yeah, it does. But with stage design, it's a 20 foot rule. Do it looks good 20 foot away. Yeah. Did you add the truss in the remodel as well? We did. We added the. Um, these are two tins put together, so it's 20 foot. Okay. These are five footers or five and a half. And we added the middle truss there as well. The ones on the side were already there. Okay. And. Um, and so we added those spotlights. Those are new lights. Those are LED. Yeah, what are those? Shaw's uh, DJs. Those okay. are 100 watts. Yeah, 100 watt each. Okay. That's what they are. You like them? I'm, oh, yeah. We or would you use, okay. Now, what do you use for projector? Projector, this is an Epson. Okay. This projector, you can get around six or $7,000. We also went with the wide angle lens because of the distance it is away from the from the screen. One thing I really love about it is that why is it six or seven thousand dollars? It has no bulb. No bulb to go bad. No bulb to lose um, its light, you know, its picture quality. The light of Jesus. You know, yeah. Is at the core of that projector. There you go. And, and um, yes. Unlike these side projectors where we have to replace the bulbs and those every so long. Mm -hmm. What are those? Those are the sun. stage we're gonna look at some of their Christmas design uh, so just show us around some of that some of the different ideas you had for like these yeah. Christmas tree well these frames are um, they're uh, two by three or two by four excuse me they're two by four two by four frames and um, we use a typical miter saw so you don't okay. need anything really that special to, to do but one thing we end up doing and you can kind of see it here and how we end up building this angle this is a, I was going for a 30 degree angle, but this is actually a, uh, I think a 36 degree angle because you can only go so far on a miter saw. Oh, okay. And so we put the, the top for up here, for this, for this cut here, we put it all the way over as far as you could go on a miter saw, which is um, basically 54 degrees. So which, which ends up giving you 36. Um, so we cut that here and then we cut this as well at the same 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 way 54 degrees on your miter saw giving you to 36 degrees okay which equals 90 and put it together pre-drill to do your screws in and then um, um, down below here this ends up being a 18 degree cut and so you'd put your miter saw on um, or 72 degrees excuse me 72 degrees total but it'd be 18 on your miter saw so if you're looking at the zero which is right in front of you you're going to go right over to the uh the 18 on both sides well there's different measurements i think these were the three and a half four and a half and then those were I think like seven okay so i think those were seven approximately so it's how we end up doing that so the different material that we Pretty end cool. up using, this is coroplast. You can find coroplast anywhere, everywhere. And believe it or not, this right here, um, we had two foot by three foot wide um, signs for trunk or tree. We took those and used a table saw. Always use a table saw when you're using coroplast when you're making these kind of cuts. And uh, if you if, if you were to look on the back and you can get a, a yeah, I'll show them what that yeah, looks get a like. Picture of that you you'll see the trunk or tree stuff, but. 
We did need a four foot wide by eight foot long sheet of quarter plastic. That's how it comes. And we have a man and, our, uh, a, man and a lady in our, our, our church that owns a, UPS, a couple of UPS stores. And they brought by a quarter plastic. For you to buy a quarter plastic sheet that size, you're gonna spend $25, $30. So it's not real expensive. But you, as you know, Chad, there's so much you can do with quarter plastic. Mm -hmm. This is saran wrap. On the back of the saran wrap, and right here, you can see on the core plastic, I just used a, an electric nail gun. Okay. Real simple. Yeah. Small nails. People can't see it from out there, but yeah. Yeah. Saran wrap right there. Yeah. Saran wrap. He just went to the kitchen and got some supplies. Yeah. yeah. There's the uh, temple right here, of course. Yep. And these are, uh, I recommend the white lights. Yeah. The cool, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. I think it took three or four for this. And those are five LED and half, five and a Christmas half. lights. That may be five and a half, I think. I, I don't re I don't remember now. Those look good. They have a nice like yeah. icy look. It's good old bubble wrap. So they actually have one of them that they, they pop. So every day till Christmas, they Ad pop another like one. Like Advent or like a yeah. Advent <laughs> yeah, That's right. Now one thing I would say like I would recommend, go with the big bubble. Yeah, that looks good. Um, don't go with green unless you're going for the green look. They make green. Don't go with green. Don't go with the small bubble. Go with the big bubble. You need that's what you need. That looks good. It'll catch the light better. Yeah, the lights that we used on the we have the uh, the color strips and that's by, by Chave. Uh, Chave DJ, yeah. and which will do many different colors for you. This one was uh, I don't whatever brand that is. That was an extra one we had in our youth room and we were one light short. So let's grab what we could grab. And it works. And this is uh, this is our Slim Par T12 from Chave. These are awesome. I love these. This is exactly what we have on our um, our truss up above us. Yeah, those are great lights. You throw I, yeah, I totally recommend using, I totally recommend using the Chave's um, Slim Pars. They do a great job and they're quiet. You don't have to worry about a lot of sound from that. Paul and I built, framed them and uh, my wife basically, she did most of the design work on them. This looks great. Now what do you normally have? I know, I know we have we have the stained glass over here on both sides and then something's behind here. Yeah, Show so. Show us what we got here. Yeah, what we got. And so normally they have a the core class weave design, um, at least this year because they're gonna change that out every year. But just for Christmas, they cover that up for the Christmas trees. How we did this, Chad, is we took two four by eight sheets. It's um, about six foot high. And then with about a two inch gap in between, and this is this whole thing is 16 foot wide, same height as a, width as a screen. And just like you said, like it sounds, we weaved it, we built a frame for it. Nothing too crazy. It's a very simple frame. Um, so roughly a 16 by 6 frame and then yeah what are these one by ones this one right here is a one by, this is a one by one and I think these are either two by three you okay. have two by threes here you could use two by fours if you wanted yeah. to but and then one by ones in the middle and you just weave it in and out yeah that looks great we use the same nail gun and I will say one thing that was we were a little bit surprised about we were planning on lighting it up with these uh, light bars here we don't even use these light bars for to light up this design. This design right here, this this weave is is lit up by the slim parts that we have on our truss up above. And so, uh, I'm sure Chad will put on the video of a normal service that we have showing you the full display. Mm -hmm. When you see it lit up and it's so even and nice and clean, it's because we light it up with uh, the slim parts from our yeah. truss. And so that's the way to go. I didn't realize how powerful they would be, and so. I'm really, I'm really no, glad. Yeah, I bet they look great. So uh, these frames are three foot wide approximately by, um, uh, I believe, eight. So they're all three, all three frames the same size? Yes. Okay. Um, they, um, they are hanging from these trusses that we have. This paper here is almost like a phototype paper. Mm -hmm. It's translucent. And um, we had it printed off at our UPS store. <laughs> and so they did a great job with that. And um, how do we get these design? Um, this top design and uh, that middle design, that actually came from a PDF on church stage design. So they had three or four on there. There were a couple of them that were not our favorite, but these were our favorites. Uh, this one and this other one we found simply online, probably like a photo bucket or flicker. Yeah, yeah. And you could purchase them. I think we purchased these for about maybe 35 
And they're just $40 each. High res designs. Yes. You print them out on this paper, semi translucent. Yep. And then uh, on the back, they actually it's light it parts. with uh, some slim parts. Yeah. And it's a very clever, clever way to do it. Yeah. I like it. So we um, put these to the frame. And then to help the light travel all the way up, we actually just took tin foil, taped it here to the bottom, to the top, and it really reflects the light all the way up the, um, the design. Yeah, that's a good idea. Someone may be wondering, well, why don't you just add another swim par on the very top of it? You're right, you could. Yeah. We simply had, weren't planning on doing it, and the way we had budgeted and getting our lights, we just pretty much tapped enough. out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were out of budget on lights, so that may be something that we could do in the future. Yeah, you could. Yeah, for sure. That's a good, that's great, and then yeah, Temple helps keep it, you know, centralized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. From from back there, especially, it's like, wow, what is that? <laughs> like, it, it looks really good. All right, so their hazer is the Chavez Hurricane. It's the uh, Hurricane Haze 2D. Um, he said they uh, haven't used it in a couple weeks, mainly because um, because of their Christmas setup that. Uh, there was really no reason to because they had to move their moving heads um, off the stage. So um, anyway, that's their hazer. Man, I really appreciate you letting us look around and uh, show us around your new stage. I mean, really, it's been a transformation. Um, you've seen some before and after pictures uh, throughout, but I'll show you one more time. Ready? Here's before and here's after. Looks so much better. Um, not that the other one was bad, but it's just it, it's just a different time, and you need. I, I totally you, understand. You need an update. You yeah. do need an update. Yeah. So. But I really appreciate you having us out. Thank you for coming, Chad. Yes, sir. It's been man. a pleasure to meet again. Yes, and, yes, sir. And glad to see uh, um, some of the different designs you have going on at your church. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. We try to do good. something fresh every year. This was probably like all at once. It was. A big change for you guys. It was. And so I hope it helps somebody, give some uh, different ideas. And uh, yeah. if you watch and you have some questions, feel free to give me a call uh, here at the church or uh, shoot me an email. Um, what's the website for the church? Southsidenow.church is, okay. the, is the website, and we're here in Florence, South Carolina. And they can find you on Facebook too? Yeah, Southside Baptist Church. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much again for having us. And as we say, Pleasure. great worship leaders and pastors are always learning. Have a great day, guys. Bye. You better go get those kids. <laughs> All right, man. Since we're in the Bible Belt, churches are like depreciated, you know? Like they depreciate in values. There's so many of them. And so, like, you see a lot of them, like, needing rest restoration. Mm -hmm. I like to see that you guys did that. You guys did an awesome job. Thanks, man. We, we worked hard at it. It was, um, it took us a good, good two months, but um, a lot of playing involved as well.